Jiri. Yes. In fact, na refuwa na mwalimu wa Kupet, President wa Kupet, kwamba we have actually moved from 30,000 now as at of today, there are 54,000 new teachers. Asante sana for that information. Kwa hivyo, we have to make the difference. Ushuru, ukiniuluza, hata nikiuluza mtu yote hapa, atasema, hatupendi kulipa ushuru. Globally, the world over, everybody will say, hii mambo ya tax ngumu. But, Hakuna taifa ambalo linaweza kuenda mbele bila wenyeji wa taifa hilo kulipa ushuru. Mimi nilikuwa waziri wa fedha. Nafahamu haya. Hauwezi ukajenga barabara ambazo tunauliza bila sisi kulipa ushuru. Mshara wa hao walimu tunataka tuajiri ni lazima sisi tuwalipe kutoka kwa ushuru wetu na watoto wetu wasome. Hatuwezi kopa pesa za kulipa mshara za walimu. It is not possible. Ukiona wanakopa pesa ya kulipa mshara, basi hiyo taifa iko bankrupt. Kwa hivyo, sisi kama wa Kenya, na wasihi tu kwamba kwa muda tutakuwa na uchungu kidogo hapa na pale lakini hatimaye tutajisimamia na maisha yetu yatakuwa tofauti na kwa sababu Kenya ni demokrasia jamaa wanaweza kimbia hapa na pale waseme wazungumuze lakini kweli wa mambo sasa ni kwamba kura ziliisha tunatarajia 2027 na sisi tufanye development na ndugu zetu ambao wamenena hapa vile wamenena tuje pamoja kuhambane kuhambane tunataka footprint yetu tukienda 2027 kwa kisiasa kwa serikali footprint yetu iwe kubwa na tena tunataka sauti yetu iwe more united than ever before so i extend that olive branch and that open door policy to my colleagues in the political realm who may not be within the Kenya Kwanza bracket we extend a hand of friendship come let us work together let us unite let us build our nation let us build our region and let us not waste time in politics that will not change anything at this stage it will not happen it will not happen ndugu yetu hao wengine wanazidi kusema oh namna gani namna gani mimi niliwahi kutembea na uhuru tukaenda na yeye Nigeria tukakutana huko nikakutana na uhuru tukiwa bunju bura kwa mambo ya kuleta amani katika eneo hii na uhuru akasema mimi nilipeana ushukani ndio yeye mkubwa wa azimio na anasema yeye alifanya nini sasa wewe mkubwa wako alipeana ushukani akapeana fimbo akapeana sword akapeana katiba akasema huyu ndio mshindi sasa yani uhuru alikuwa na shida gani na ni rais ambaye amestaff yeye kutambua kwamba napeana mamlaka kwa yule alishinda 
si hiyo sasa ni jawabu kubwa kwa watu wa azimio kwamba musipoteze wakati kwa sababu mkubwa yenu alitambua kwamba mshindi ni William Samoi Ruto na kapeana sasa hii ingine yote ni sarakasi wanyagurabza eh 